our blooper outtakes last night and yes Terry everything is fine um, I don't know what we have planned for today uh, don't think we're gonna go anywhere Kevin has been talking about working on his floor and I don't know what I want to do I think I want to just watch some movies pretty man yeah yeah Getting very frustrated. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting very frustrated. I went to my third gastro bypass class last night. And I've been eating right. I've been logging everything. Everything into this stupid little phone to my fitness pal. And I didn't lose any weight. I'm mad. Well, you know, your first week or two... You go on a diet, you gain weight because your body thinks you've... You know that. Every time that we've got you on a diet, they tell you, make sure that you realize the first week or so that um, you're going to probably gain weight or not lose any because your body thinks that you're is going into starvation mode. It thinks that mm -hmm. you're, uh, the food is not available and your body starts conserving. That's what it does. Is that true, Sarah? It is. <laughs> Good morning. This, this is what gets Megan very frustrated as well because she'll go into a major crash diet and nothing will happen. So, but you got to give it more than a week because your body. I've been doing it since I've been diagnosed. Well, actually, not really. I've been <laughs> doing it. I did really good this past week. Yeah, I know. But you gotta continue, or it's give give it a couple more weeks. Give it a couple more weeks. You'll start seeing a difference. I promise. <laughs> and if I don't, what can I do to you? Since you just promised me, I'll let you tattoo me. Holy macaroni! Are you serious? Sure, why not? <laughs> I can't draw at all. <laughs> well, let me draw the picture. <laughs> Can I? I can't draw when I'm drunk and blindfolded and left-handed, but it didn't stop me from doing it. <laughs> Someone's got to show me my back. When was that? <laughs> um, but... Anyway, I got into an actual argument with one of the other patients in the class last night, and um, it really upset me. And she kind of told me she doesn't think I should be in the class. And, you know, I confronted her afterwards and uh, told her she has no idea what my, my illnesses are, so she has no right to say anything, so... Anyway, I'm going to try and convince my husband to maybe watch a movie or two with me. Even though I know he wants to work on the floor. Yeah, one of these days I'll get to work on the floor. <laughs> but And also watching a movie, a two-hour movie, takes about four hours. Right? Well, we need to figure out lunch because I just got up and I haven't eaten yet. Okay. Okay, so this is today's project. Uh, I need to smooth out this corner to put tile over it. This actually used to be the edge of the house, but um, some previous owner at some point had uh, removed the part of the wall here, made it an entryway. I do believe there was probably a sliding glass door in part of this. So this is actually the outside of the house that we're looking at. Now, I have, um, the concrete was cut away, kind of roughly, 
didn't matter because they just carpeted it over it. And um, I'm having some issues with this. First of all, some of this is plaster, just a standard plaster, and it's not adhered. Now, I'm not sure if I need to, to, to remove all of this all the way back. Or if I can just glue this on. I, I get the feeling it needs to come off because it's rough and it's going to be very difficult to adhere tile to it. I have um, travertine is what I'm putting on and it's soft and I'm, it's very important that it's going to be on a very solid edge or uh, first time someone steps on it, it's going to crack. It's my biggest issue. This corner has been my biggest fear and so I need to deal with that. So, so I need to deal with that first thing. So let's see how what's going to happen. I get the feeling that I'm going to end up having to take it all off. All right, so I got myself a grinder with a, uh, a concrete grinding uh, blade on the end. And I'm going to try and smooth this out and I don't need your help, King. I don't. And so I'm going to uh, grind down the edge and see if I can not take off all of this edging and see what's going on. make a big mess but uh, I flattened out the edge I still have to decide whether I want to take it off or not because there is <coughs> whole sections there that are not stuck on and I'm not sure what to do about it besides just taking it all off no falling boomer <laughs> Yes. Here comes Boomer. Come on, Boom Boom. Come on, Boom Boom. Hi, everybody. So Kevin's done doing what he needed to do in the dining room on the floor. Where are you going, Kane? And I went back to bed after we ate. So, I'm in my nightgown now, and my hair is in a ponytail, and I have no ears on. I have my ears, but I don't have no ears on. Um, so, we're going to watch a movie. Yay. We should try and find that one. What one was it? Oh, that's in the movies, though, isn't it? That one that, um, Babadook? No, I think I can find it. Let's, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, let's see if we can find that one. Okay. Alright. Bye. Bye. It looks like he's in mid-jump or something. <laughs> <laughs> he sleeps like Cain. It moved. Master Yoda, this is for you. Boomer, hug and... Yes. Just for you, Master Yoda. Meow. Meow. Hello, everybody. That's, that's all you get. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs. Okay. We need some prayers, people. We need some prayers. It's Ken Bautista. 
We've been praying for his mother. She has pancreatic cancer. And uh, we need to send some more thoughts and prayers their way. So if everyone can please keep Ken Batista's mother and him and his entire family in your thoughts and prayers. We would greatly appreciate it. And Big D Jr., their cat Cammy is not doing so well. So we can send some thoughts and prayers to Big D and his family for their cat Cammy. We would also greatly appreciate that. Okay, and the nicest person in the world. Shout out to you. Johnson Quarrel. Quarrel. Welcome to the neighborhood. Ortega 32. Welcome to the neighborhood. And that's all the shout outs I have. But I asked the other night, what is your heritage? And we have French, we have American Indian, we have Swedish and Czechoslovakian, we have American Indian, German, Scotch, Irish, English, German, Cherokee Indian. Okay, here we, Susie here. She's Cherokee Indian, a quarter Mexican, an eighth Irish, and an eighth Italian. And she's as pale as can be, so she says she looks more Irish than anything. So. And then Crimson Fairy is Norwegian, Swedish, Irish, English, and German. What are you? I am a uh, Scotch-Irish, told by the crazy name. Yeah. I am what you call a Heinz 57. Cuts because my dad is a little bit of everything. Polish. But, you didn't let me finish. I am mostly Polish because my mother is 100% Polish. So I'm a Polak. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I say it and I'm proud of it. So, my question for tonight is, if you could change your name to anything, what would you change your name to be? Awesome. We already call you that. Who does? I do. All sure you do. <laughs> so, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so my question from a couple of nights, a couple of, a couple of, a couple of nights ago. See, we're not even going to cut that out for a little. We'll leave that one in now. In. <laughs> but uh, it was about Legend of Hell House, and uh, the homeowner of uh, Hell House was Emmerich Blasco. And who was that uh, based on? Character was based on Alistair Crawley, who was an occultist back in the turn of the century. He started his own religion called Thelema. But um, that, the Terry Johnson, Greg Myers, and Tanya Longley got that one right. Uh, tonight is about the 1998 urban legend. Remember urban legend? Easy for you to say. Um, it's got a lot of jokes in it. You have to really pay attention um, to all the stuff that's going on in that movie. There's a lot of inside jokes. But the university that they're supposed to be at, there's an emblem that they show a couple of times. It has a motto on it in Latin. What does it say? What is the translation of the Latin? What does it say in Latin and what does it mean? Okay. I'm just saying it in layman's terms, I guess. I hope everybody enjoyed our blooper reel last night. Um, we had a lot of fun putting that together. Um, we do have more bloopers, and periodically we'll throw one up once we get a, a group of them together. So, 
Anyway, there you have it. There's your question of the day and your trivia question. And you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all very, very much. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow. Wink, wink. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs>